Hello and welcome to a new series on my channel. I guess as you can see we're coming into a new I guess it's a retro game but it has been made I think it came out around last year. So we're starting Grim Fang Dango and we're doing the remastered version. Now I haven't looked into this game. I didn't get the ch chance to play it when it first came around. I think I was about nine when it first came out and I think it was probably going to be way above my head at that point but I've heard many great things basically I think all I know about this game is that you are dead and it's basically based on the old I think Aztecs where you had to when you died you had to travel like a whole distance for like four days to try and get to your thing and what um, in this game you are a travel agent who is offering people packages to improve that trip or make it a bit better so I'm quite excited to get into this now when I started the game the game started straight into it and so what I did quickly was I skipped a scene and I hit the menu and now I'm gonna hit new game so hopefully hopefully sorry we all get the same experience to begin with so Hopefully I haven't cut anything out, which would be terrible, but I'm looking forward to this and I hope you all enjoy this journey with me. So, quite excited to get into this and let's get in. Now, I think as the rules are, no talking during the cutscenes. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? 
All right, so we're in. So it looks like, as I said, we're selling travel packages to people, and but we've got to work off a debt, so that's actually quite interesting. So now I'm going to try and figure out as we go. I'm guessing X will be interact with things. So I just check. I want to reread the old files. It'll just make me sad. Yep. So that makes sense. Um, let's try Not circle. Picking that up. So it looks like circle helps us pick up items. Try square. Ah, the old files, the old clients, the glory days when people died with dignity and <laughs> Domino Hurley didn't exist. Uh So that looks like he makes a comment on something. And last but triangle. Oh. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. So it looks like triangle. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Ah, cool. So you can actually pull that out. And so pressing triangle puts it back in. So that makes sense. Alright, well let's walk around. Now first thing I should probably do is find out what this little message is. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Hmm. Whatever you say, Hiffy. So we got some first thing. I might just see if I can quickly turn on subtitles. So now let's just have a check. Ah, the old files. Yeah, we the got old text now. Clients, the glory days when people died with dignity, and Domino Hurley didn't exist. All right, so what's over here? It's a deck of cards. Hmm. Can we pick that up? Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. Yep, we can take them. Read them already. Didn't help. Alright, is there anywhere else we can go? Oh, we're out of the room. Warning, this game does not automatically save. Please save in the menu, pause menu to avoid losing progress. So that's a good point, we better remember that. So let's go talk to our receptionist, shall we? Or can we not go in here? Picking that up. No, nope, we can't go in there. Let's see what he says about it anyway. <sighs> My old door. So that used to be our old door. So I'm guessing that used to be his old office, which is quite interesting. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. <laughs> Not picking that up. Oops. <laughs> I guess you came out kind of bad. Dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Okay, so now we got some text choice, so this is because you're coding quite interesting. What poisoning? The code 3 gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. All right, cool. So, so any, any messages? messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. <laughs> In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss. Same as you, Don Copel. Okay. Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. What? Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? So. You going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bayesa. 
All right, so let's move well, on. I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. <laughs> I love all the little plays on words and stuff, so... Not picking that? Ah, the big golden door to mediocre management. A little respect for our fearless leader, please? Why? I've worked here longer than he has, you know. And you're proud of that? Hmm, good point. All right, so let's move on, shall we? So... Oh, let's hop in the elevator. Go to the poisoning, I think. See if we can follow that. Follow where their car went. Did you run at all? Nope. So let's go into. Can't go through on foot. People have tried, but they never came back. So I need a car to go through there. That makes sense. Man, this is a big area. Just plodding along, minding my own business. Trying to find a good person to sell them a travel package. <laughs> so, do we have to go into this room? I'm not sure. It's closed. Not picking that up. It's a tool cabinet. It is. I won't lie, I'm actually not sure how to pick the car up. Nothing seems to be there. Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Alright. Maybe I can knock on the door. Wish there was a way you could move a little bit faster than what I'm doing. Oh yeah, you can knock on it. Hey, service. Hey, genie. Come out of the lantern already. Huh? Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect the sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? That's terrible. Why would he send my driver home? Ah, actually... Are hey, you a driver? driver? Me? Ha! No! No, no, no! I don't ride them! Just wrench them! Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, mm. you do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh! Oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. <laughs> You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again. I'm too big to drive. You're not too big. You just have a self-image problem. A what? Repeat after me. I am not fat. <laughs> I am thin. Women find me attractive. Hey, I never said I was too fat for the ladies. Just the cars. The ladies like me just fine. <laughs> I love this, Clannis. You're not too big. 
The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll... But I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. <laughs> I actually wonder how he fits in that little shed. So what I will do is I will put that in my pocket. And let's go get this walker designed. Man, Gladys was a bit weird. Kinda cool. Why am I looking the wrong way? Look like I'm just shunning everything. If I really need the boss to sign this work order, I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. I can't find my driver. Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Hmm. No, but I like to hear your description of it, just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here, having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. <laughs> I love her. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trap soul and you don't even know it. All right. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Good tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. All right. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say? Eh, sorry, Cal. All right, so that doesn't seem to be working at all. What I did back... <laughs> wow! That is probably the longest name I've ever seen for a trophy. Just one more question about my job. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I want to see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. So I gotta find a way. Not to... picking that up. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Ah, uh, the big go. A little respect for our. Why? And your point. Right, mm. So we've been good that. point. <sighs> Not picking that up. Domino's door is locked. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. So is there anything down this way? Nope, that seems to be it.
Hmm. So I got the. I gotta get this work order signed. It's some sort of special work order. Hmm. To all agents from Office Man. All right, you boneheads. Thank you. Look, we have too many dead to assign. So all let's. Right. Touch. Whatever you say, Hiffy. Oh, this is really interesting, but I am lost again. I think it'll take me a little while to get a hang of this game, but I'll get there. Hmm. I wonder if there's something at the end of this. Does this take us somewhere different? Cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, <laughs> all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead, name one. Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! I'll put that in my way, because you never know when you need that. Since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! Bang! Ah! Pump another one. Lousy, bony fingers! Some festival, huh? Yeah. Yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any... tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue. But that doesn't seem to shut you up, now does it? My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? Okay. A cat. <laughs> no. Alright, so we got a cat as well now? Uh... Lousy bony fingers. So maybe if we go over here. That's the door to the garage. I don't like the way that eye is looking at me. Hello? Hello? Hmm. All right, so I guess we've got to try and get, maybe I can use a balloon animal to try and change Ava's mind. to sign this work Oops. I'll give it a shot. Didn't mean to do that. Missed it. Nah. 
What is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. Not uh. picking that up. Oh, that's what's making that terrible noise. Oh, that's what's making that terrible noise. Will the face do anything? Oh, that's what's making that terrible noise. Not really. below what did I just do that's not what balloons are for just wouldn't help there. That won't help it get signed. I gave you? No. Well, then just enjoy it for a while longer, all right? Can I have another cat? Hey, did you? No. Well, then just. Do you have any more dead worms back? Well. I don't got the lungs for it. I don't got the lungs for it. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't got the lungs for it. That's not what balloons are for. Just take a little more bread to honor the dead. Hello? Not picking that up. Not picking that up. get crumbs all over. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread.
Really? Really? Oh, so this might be Domino's office. He's got a lock on it. It's attached pretty well. Don't need it. Memo from the desk of Don Copal. Hey, work orders are assigned by my office and are not exchangeable among salesmen. Swapping, selling, and specially stealing work orders will result in severe disciplinary action. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. I would love to search Don. If I go out that way, everyone will know I was snooping around in here. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Ah. I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, great, Zeva. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. So there we go. Got all that ceremonial bread for nothing. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, great, Zeva. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crossword puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. Say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! Por favor. I could have walked faster than this. Ah, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. <laughs> well, uh, I think I may end it here. So hopefully I can save here. Man, this is disturbing a little bit. So hopefully I'll edit this so it actually is a bit more exciting instead of just watching me walk backwards and forwards until I figured out how to do it. But I really hope you enjoy this series. I know I am loving it so far. But but I guess we'll end it here. So thanks again for watching. And if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you want to see more of this, subscribe. But until next time, see ya. Let's see if I can remember how to play it. That's the question. Now there's bananas here somewhere. There we are. So yes, so I'm guessing if you've watched this, you're watching this, you've either played it before or you're curious about it. 
but I absolutely loved this game when I was a kid. And I'm still learning the controls, obviously. <laughs> 